Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. For the community, by the community. Hello, boys and girls. How you all doing today? Good. Welcome to Mr. Pop's neighborhood, where everything is all good in our hood. It's a wonderful, wonderful day, day in the neighborhood. Wonderful day in the neighborhood. Wonderful day in the neighborhood. And nobody can deny it. Guess what our subject will be today? Can somebody tell me the three principles to bullying? Identify. Identify, notify, and the teacher will rectify. Those are very, very important principles to bullying. You identify who the bully is, you notify the teacher or an adult who the bully is, and let the teacher rectify the problem. Because if you rectify the problem, it makes matters worse. Y'all understand that? Yes. So let's do the three principles again. What's the three principles to bully? I get my notify, and the teacher will rectify. Give yourself a hand. I want to start on my left. Madison, how you doing, Maddie? Good. You want to contribute to anything about bullying? Yes. What would you like to say? I like to say that bullying is not right. And bullying is not good because some kid hates because some kids hate to get bullied by bigger kids. Really? Yeah. Why is that? Because Okay. Give her a hand, y'all. Would you like to say anything about bullying? Yes. Bully is not right because if they, they get bullied, they wouldn't like it by an older kid. That's right. And how old are you? Eight. What grade are you in? Third. Third? Who's next to you? Christian. Christian, you'd like to say anything about bullying? Yes, bullying is not, bullying is not cool because if, if a bully did not like, when they like to get bullied, they shouldn't be bullying the other kid. Why do you say that? Because if the if if a kid get bullied, they might bully the kid back. That's right. Who's next to you? My brother. What's your brother's name? Brandon. Brandon, what do you think about bullying? Bullying is not smart, cause no one will never mess with you or be your friend. Bullying is not cool because that's not a smart thing to do. Okay, give me a hand, y'all. Let me share some with you. When I told you the three principles to bullying is identify, notify, and the teacher will rectify. I want you all to say snitching. Snitch. Snitch. Said there's no such thing as snitching. There's no such thing as snitching. Because you don't want to see no one get hurt. Because you don't want to see no one get hurt. And guess what? It's called being responsible. When you hear... Two other kids talk about after school, they're going to jump on a kid. Or when you hear kids say when they go in the bathroom, they're going to beat up on a kid. You're supposed to immediately go to the teacher or whoever's in authority and say, these kids planning to jump and hurt somebody. That's not snitching. That's called being concerned about somebody and being concerned about somebody getting hurt. Am I right? Yes. So let me share some with you, too. Say intimidation. Intimidation. Say uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Anytime a person and is intimidated or uncomfortable in your presence, that's bullying. Y'all know that? Yes. What would you like to say over there? Instead of 
like if you hit somebody, like bump into somebody by an accident, then they do it back, just go tell the teacher instead of hitting them. Yes, and you know the first thing you do? You know the first response you do when you're bumping hey, somebody? There you, you say go. sorry. Yeah, right. Or, or how are you okay or there you how go. are you feeling? There you go. And you know what? That makes you the bigger person. And you know what it, you know what it does? It shows that you're concerned. And guess what? When other people see you do that, you know what they say? That's the right thing to do. And that rubs off on them. And they say, wow, he's a gentleman. He didn't get upset. He didn't start no fight. It takes a bigger man to say sorry. You know that, right? Yeah, or like if somebody like bump into you, instead of like hit them back, like don't just hit them back. Like if I bumped into somebody and I said, sorry, how you doing? Like don't just hit them back. The person to both of them persons are supposed to tell their teacher that they bumped into somebody and if they got into a fight, the teacher will handle it. And somebody will see, see it, and then they go to the teacher, and they will handle it. There you go. Listen, give me a hand. You know the word. You know the word you just used when you said the teacher will handle it. That's the definition of rectifying. See, the teacher has the power and authority to rectify a problem. You all don't because you all haven't learned yet how to resolve problem. But you learn that as you grow. You learn it as you're being taught. And you learn it as you interact with one another. You learn how to do what you call problem solving. Say problem solving. Problem solving. And always remember this. Only a gentleman can engage in problem solving. You know that? Yes. Only a young lady can involve in problem solving. It don't make you a coward to, prov to solve a problem. Y'all understand that? Yes. yes. Now guess what? Do you know bullying is not always putting your hands on somebody? Yes. yes. Say it's verbal assault. Verbal assault. It's the pop book. Instead of, um, instead of putting your hands on people, just, just say I'm sorry or how I'm doing. I mean, how are you doing? Or just say I'm sorry. It was by an accident. Or like, if somebody's on the side, they, like, go so close to each other, they bump into each other. Instead of hitting, starting to the fight them, tell somebody you're near, or you're near your teacher or a person you're near each other. That's right. Or a grown-up. You're just good to a grown-up if your teacher's not around. Now, I want you all to understand something. Be... Aware of your surroundings. Say surroundings. Surroundings. Now, always watch out for, say, instigators. Instigators. Let me share this with you. An instigator is a person who causes problems. Let me share this with you. Do you remember earlier when he said you walked by and accidentally hit somebody? Mm -hmm. And you said, excuse me? Are you okay? And are you okay? An instigator would sit by and say, Oh, man, you let him hit you? Oh, man, he wouldn't hit me like that. Oh, man, you're a scary cat. You're a cow. You let him hit you. An instigator is a person that sits back and cause trouble, cause someone to get hurt, and then they sit back and laugh about it and walk off like nothing occurred. And you find instigators go through life doing that. When you all see somebody being bullied on, don't laugh. Just don't help engage. them out or tell the teacher. Or if you can't break it up, then you go to the teacher. Or you tell a grown-up. Or that's tell a grown-up, that's, that's right. That's near you, or the teacher is not around. Now, you just tell a grown-up. Let me show you about the different forms of bullying. You've been told that bullying is always putting your hands on somebody, flipping them down, kicking them, punching them, right? Jump them. Uh, Jump, Jump them, right? Them, right? Mm -hmm. Say verbal assault. Verbal assault. Do anybody know what verbal assault means? To hurt them back. To hurt them back or, like, fight or start a fight. No, let me share some with you. Verbal assault, say ranking. Ranking. Okay, say facial expressions. Facial expressions. Say that's a form of bullying. That's, that's a form, form of bullying. bullying. Now, doesn't young ladies, if you're standing at a locker, put your books in the locker or take your books out of a locker, and a young girl walk by you and roll her eyes at you, how do you feel? How would that make you feel? 
sad and disappointed. That's a form of bullying. That's called facial expression. Facial expression. When a person roll their eyes at you, you know that's a sign of dislike you, I'm going to do something to you. It makes you feel uncomfortable, correct? Yes. yes. How about you sitting at your desk and a kid sitting beside you or behind you, when they get up from their desk, they slam the desk and make the chair make a whole lot of noise. How does that make you feel if you're trying to work or and a kid get up and do that? Or annoyed. Like, Distract. Say, like, oh, watch this. Watch like this. One at a time. One at a time, annoyed. okay? Annoyed. Huh? Annoyed. Annoyed? That's yes. a good word. Um, like, if somebody, if you're at your desk and you're trying to do your work and so you could get a compliment from your teacher and somebody's behind you, like, making spitballs and throwing at you, like, and they're trying to do their work and then they get a compliment, but they're bothering and distracting them. Distracting, that's a good word. They get, and then they get caught by the teacher. Okay. What I want you all to understand when I say, let the teacher rectify. Don't you know that when somebody do something to you and you respond back or you retaliate back, guess what? The teacher will only see what you're doing because you're the last one doing it. That means you reacting. You understand that, right? Yes. Every action, there's a reaction. So you react, and the teacher see your arm or your hand making contact. What the teacher going to say? Stop. Stop it, please. You're suspended. Or the teacher going to say you're the problem because you're the last person that the teacher see made the body contact. You understand that? Yes. So if you notify the teacher or inform the teacher ahead of time, the teacher can come to your defense and says. She's been informed or he's been informed that there's a bully in the classroom and the teacher knows that she needs to deal with that problem. Because guess, always remember this. You could be next. You could be next. But if you notify the teacher and identify the bully, the teacher can deal with it before the whole class get out of hand. Y'all understand that? Yes. If I'm doing my work and somebody's bothering me, throwing stuff at me and throwing wrapping up papers and throwing it at me, I'll feel mad and instead of hitting them back I'll, and throwing stuff back at them, I'll tell the teacher and I'll move. I'm so proud to give her a hand, y'all. Yeah. Now, isn't that the right thing to do? Yes. yes. Isn't she the bigger person? Yes. yes. Isn't she the young lady? Yes. yes. Give her a hand. My turn. Before we go off the air, what's the three principles to bullying? Identify, identify notify, and, and the teacher, teacher will rectify. It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. Wonderful day in the neighborhood. Wonderful day in the neighborhood. And nobody can deny it. Thank you all for coming to Mr. Pop's neighborhood where everything is all good in our hood. Yo, Ruger. What's up, Pop? Let the kids know number one is educational and the rap game is recreational. All right. Show them what you got. Yeah. Ruger Belly. Off of W. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Uh, uh. Kids, put your hands up and open up your books. Kids, put your hands up and open up your books. Kids, put your hands up and open up your books and listen to this hook. Yeah, yo, I felt my life was cut short Till I met this mentor named Pop up the juvenile court He sat me down, he started when he was eight When he was a class clown Yup, and then he started telling me That he must confess When he was eight, it was called DCYF He told me that how to be at my best Now that I'm up in DCF he told me don't get involved up in game turf Till I met this great social worker named Mr. Duckworth He told me to listen to pop because you're going through a phase Yeah, and then I met this great worker named Sabrina Dougie Hayes Then pop showed me about the boss named Mr. Albert Johnson, the supervisor Give him a lobster for appetizer Yeah, and first thing I learned is watch out for so-called friends Cause they the one that turn on you, get you locked in the pen when I spent my time up at NYI, my cellmate was game banging, I was writing my rhyme. My friend was a pad in the pen, I was trying to figure out how to correct what would got me in. Now it's about education and graduation, finishing school will be my great celebration. 
young kids, this is the kind of knowledge that will get you into college. Yeah, I said, young kids, this is the kind of knowledge that will get you into college. Google Belly, Papa Doc Records, you already know what it is. What up, J-Bug, I see you. Much love. I do this for the kids, so finish school and pump your mind full of knowledge like you're in the tube and graduated, go to college, what I'm giving you, streets trying to give you gang violence, drug dealing too, listen up to me kids, don't let it get into you, all I do is get you stabbed and shot, family missing you, you can even ask my mental pocket, the streets is pitiful, he's been through the rough times, what I'm trying to spit to you, don't sell drugs or industries claiming sex be well above and you can rearrange your rep from young to educated young and very bravest do something with your life i know you can make it your brain and memory card i know you can save it i just want to say big ups to my cousin david we a powerful movement we the world's greatest we a powerful movement young people go to school go to school Follow your dream, follow your dream, the cheat the code, the cheat the code, and relate to me, and relate to young people. Go to school, go to school, follow your dream, follow your dream, the cheat the code, the cheat the code, and relate to me, and relate to me, yeah. Ruga Valley is best to for the kids right here. Go to school and get that education. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. Yeah. Ready for whatever came to wake up your brain. My flow so insane. Every time I spit, money on my mind, but to leave, I'ma get a little bit of shine in the all way fit it. My team stands tall while you looking like a midget. I don't think you get it, I don't think you get it. Hold up, watch the crowd go wild when I roll up. Ruka Valley Cashew, so I go nuts. Every time I spit, you know us. Every time I spit, so everybody know us. You let like to talk about guns a little, homie, so what? Talk a little fat, I think it's about to throw up. Talk a little fat, I think it's about to throw up. Ain't nobody stopping us. Show you what we came to do. All for W, music you can listen to, so everybody rock with us, show you what we came to do, came to take it over, now we entertaining you, ain't nobody stopping us, show you what we came to do, all for W, music you can listen to, so everybody rock with us, show you what we came to do, came to take it over, now we entertaining you. Google Vell is the endless rap. Stop all the bullying and the game violence and chit and chat. Best believe I'm spitting that flow that you can listen to. Hear it in your ear, I spit balls, I'm the sickest dude. Catch me on the avenue, yeah. But really trying to stop the violence. Trying to get the education so you can get knowledge. Go to the college and do it right. Cause the flow is so sick and I rap all day and night. Ain't nobody stopping us, show you what we came to do All for W, music you can listen to So everybody rock with us, show you what we came to do Came to take it over, now we entertaining you Ain't nobody stopping us, show you what we came to do All for W, music you can listen to So everybody rock with us, show you what we came to do Came to take it over, now we entertaining you Yeah Google Bell, all for W, ready for whatever. You dig?